The objective of this video is to learn about exterior angles and remote interior angles. Here we have a triangle and we have the angles inside labels 1, 2, and 3. Now if I were to take this base and extend it out with a different color here, let's say I extend it out like this you'll see that I have another angle out here and we're going to call that angle 4. Now we know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is going to equal 180 degrees. And we know that these two are supplementary angles which means they're going to add up to 180 degrees as well. So the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is going to give you 180 degrees. Well that means that this must be equal to this. So let's say measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 must equal the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4. Well we have a common term here. So let's let's get rid of it. If I subtract the measure of angle 3 from both sides they'll cancel out and I'll be left with the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. What does this mean? Well, these two angles are opposite of the extended line there. This angle out here is called an exterior angle. It's outside of the triangle, it's an exterior angle. We just learned that these two angles, the ones that are opposite of that exterior angle, are going to add up to give me that exterior angle. And there is a name for these two angles that are opposite of that exterior angle. And they're called the remote interior angles. Remote, far away. They're far away from that angle. Those two remote interior angles, when added together, are going to give you that exterior angle. And that will work for any exterior angle on that triangle. So if I were to extend this line here and label this 5, the remote interior angles for 5 would be 2 and 3. So the measure of angles 2 and the measure of angle 3 when added together are going to equal the measure of angle 5. If I were extended out this way, instead, if I went extended this line like this, this angle I'll call 6. Well, we know that these two are vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. So whether I extend this way or that way, these two angles are going to be equal to the measure of 2 and 3 added together. Because the measure of angle 5 is going to equal the measure of angle 6. What about this angle up here? Well, that angle is vertical with angle 1. So this is going to be equal to angle 1. And if I extend these lines out here, I get more exterior angles. Another one here, another one here. Extend this one out, I'm going to have one here, one here. I have two exterior angles on each of the vertices for a total of six exterior angles on every triangle. And all of them can be found by adding the measure of the remote interior angles.